So this module, we're gonna combine a couple of different topics. And by combining them, I don't want you to get the idea that these are somehow minor topics or not important because these are three of maybe the, the most important topics that we're gonna cover in class. The first of these is data quality. And, you know, it takes a lot of effort to put together a monitoring program and to get out there and collect the data and then to analyze it, hoping that you can say something uh, to support management decisions. And so it just goes to, uh, I mean, it just makes sense to me that you would also invest in strategies to make sure that you have the best quality data that you can. And that's like, training and calibration of the data collectors, uh, quality assurance and quality control procedures. And so these things are really important. And this module will sort of discuss those, give some definitions to those and give some ideas on how uh, that, that happens. Um, the second topic that we're gonna cover are covariates. And a covariate is just simply something that you're gonna measure while you're out here that will help you understand or interpret the data that you're collecting. So it's not monitoring data in, you know, per se, but it's something that's going to help you interpret the monitoring data that you, that you collect. And the third topic, which is really important, are ecological sites. And an ecological site is maybe best illustrated by example. So this is a spot that I like to come to at Rinker Rock Creek Ranch because it has a really distinct ecological site difference. And so, uh, an ecological site is a type of uh, land defined by its soils and its climate that supports a specific type or amount of vegetation. And so on my left, that'll be your right, we have this really nice mountain sage community here, um, some, some bunch grasses in there as well. And then on my right, your left, then is a low sage site. And the, I'm kind of standing right on the boundary, but this demarcation is pretty abrupt from this uh, mountain sage to the low sage site. And so it's like, okay, well, what, what's going on here, right? Well, turns out if we dig it down into the soil, we dig a soil pit here, which we've done actually um, in the past, that uh, on the mountain sage site, we have a deeper, loamier soil. And then on this low sage site, once you get down to about a foot or so, about you know 50 centimeters maybe, then all of a sudden there's this really thick, hard, dense clay layer that is sort of changing the plant water availability and making it so this low sage uh, does better here than the mountain sage does. And so the implication of that is our expectation of what these two different pieces of land can produce is gonna be different. The mountain sage site is gonna be more productive. The low sage site is gonna be less productive, okay? And so that our management needs to account for that. And how we interpret our monitoring data needs to account for that as well. We wouldn't expect this low sage site to say have as high a grass cover or productivity as the mountain sage site does. So for monitoring, the implication here is that you really need to know the ecological sites that you're on because they provide the key for interpreting the monitoring data that you have and making sure that you're making apples to apples comparisons when you combine data or compare across regions or across areas. So data quality, covariates, ecological sites, the three things we're covering in this module.